think you can go anywhere in Arkansas tonight without hearing a big whoop pig as the Hogs took down eighth ranked Ole Miss 30 to nothing for their second straight SEC win of this season. Second straight SEC shutout. And that's why I have my dream team with me tonight. We got Rick David, Michael Shepard. He waited and he waited. He put in his time under Tom Brady. And today, Ryan Mallett, the former Razorback, finally got his first NFL start at QB and he got a win. We have live updates coming at you from Cleveland. Every NFL backup quarterback imagines what it would be like to get their first start. For Ryan Mallett, it had a storybook ending, and he was in control the entire time. I am out here with the Arkansas Wings. They're getting ready to take on some of the top talent in the country. We're chatting with them next in sports. Preview of the Panthers and the Seagrams. Greg and Don, have you ever been to the jungle before? If you haven't, I'm about to show you what it's all about. Happy Turkey Day, Mary. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. There's a new group of cats that's going to be duking it out with Arkansas each year the day after Thanksgiving. That's right. The Hogs are used to playing LSU, the Tigers, but now they're going to be playing the Mizzou Tigers, and that's why we're here for the battle line rivalry. But get this. It's so new, they don't even have a trophy yet. So the Hogs, if they win, they'll get an interim trophy and pick up the real trophy next year. Well, no one saw this coming four years ago when Cleveland fans were burning LeBron James jersey but it's official. The King of the North is going home. Hi there, I'm Mary Dunleavy coming at you live from Bryan High School for our showcase game of the week. The Hornets are taking on Greenwood and I'm joined right now by Bryan head coach Paul Kelly. Good to see you. It's going to be a tough matchup tonight, but you have a weapon in Brandon Warner. This guy has completed 68% of his passes so far this season. He hasn't thrown an interception. I don't want to jinx you, but what is it like having a weapon? Like you that? just did jinx. I know, I don't want to. No. The best assistant coach in college football is about to be crowned right here in Little Rock. This award was created back in 1996 to honor the legendary Arkansas head coach, Frank Broyles, who's known for putting out some of the biggest names, biggest assistant coaches in the game. raised here at the Jammin' for Jackets tournament goes straight back to these schools so that these athletes, when they letter, they can buy Letterman's jackets. And that's why we have John Daniels here. The Jammin' Jackets basketball tournament kicking off tonight at North Little Rock. All proceeds benefit both Little Rock and North Little Rock high schools, ensuring all student athletes can have Letterman jackets. First up tonight, we got Mills taking on Parkview. And you know those comments are ready to go. Mills working it around. Jemiah Tony sends up a prayer. Oop, it looks good. Comments are up by two. Later, senior Jalen Franklin has an answer. Yeah, I'm just going to roll this in with my, myself right there. Sure. Go ahead. Pretty. Parkview led by seven at halftime. It would come down to the last 20 seconds. Parkview down by two. It's Franklin again trying to be the hero. Ooh, he gets blocked, but it's a foul. And guess what? He drills both the foul shots. Tie game. Just seconds left. Franklin at the line again. Khalil Garland with the athletic pass. Darius Elliott scoops it up and scores. Parkview wins it in the last moments of the game. Patriots beat the Comets 54 to 51. Pressing on directly after Little Rock Central duking it out with Episcopal Kelvin Robinson. Right here with the steal, Justin Gooseberry picks it up and hits Robinson with a give and go. Episcopal is up by two early. Later, they keep up the pressure. Allie Freeman balancing on the sideline, keeps it in play, lays it in off the glass and one. Episcopal led by 10 at the break. Central trying to come back. Kelton Wilbert kicks it to freshman Donald Richardson. He knocks down the jumper, but mm, it wasn't enough. Episcopal top central 64 to 49. Next up, North Little Rock battling J.A. Fair. Four-star Arkansas football commit K.J. Hill back on the court. He has speed on the hardwood too. Takes it all the way down court for the layup. Up by 27 in the second half. Later, North Little Rock on the fast break. Hill sets up Florida commit. Kayvon Allen with the alley-oop. Go Gata. Allen is the real deal. Here he is coming up off the rebound. Just Sliding through traffic too easy off the glass for the score. North Little Rock handles J.A. Fair easily. Charging Wildcats 76, War Eagles 50. Last game of the night.
Little Rock Hall facing McClellan High School. Hall with the hot hands early. Antonio Smith drives into the paint. Swish. Hall is up by four. Later, McClellan trapping on defense. Lions make the steal and Peyton Molden takes it in all by himself. That'll cut the deficit to just two. And it was a close one till the end, people. McClellan pushing the pace. The up ahead pass to Andre Jones and he gets the dunk. And it would come down to the wire, wire, but McClellan wins it 66 to 62 over Hall. Switching gears to college hoops, the Razorback basketball team just a day away from squaring off with Dayton in a big non-conference showdown. The Hogs entering Saturday eighth in the nation in scoring offense and second in assists, but also coming off two tough road losses. Good that we are uh, facing all this stuff now. So, you know, later on in the season, we've already been in these type of situations, scenarios, um, just late game situations, because, um, you know, it's a learning process. Today, Arkansas freshman center Frank Ragnow was named to the SEC all freshman team. Ragnow had never played center before this year. Meanwhile, the Hogs geared up for Texas and the Texas Bowl. It's going to be huge, uh, especially, you know, that would give us a win winning season for Coach B and just for ourselves. Uh, that would be a big momentum, just having that behind us next year, knowing that what we can do um, going into next year and just having that confidence. Uh, Brandon looks really good. Um, he's out there practicing, uh, going 100%. Uh, he's throwing great balls. He looks really good. December 29th at 8 p.m.